So this video pertains particularly particularly to dark humor, right? I'll, I'll give you my opinion on dark humor. It's one of the funniest humors you could use within your arsenal, but also one of the most dangerous. Because um, let's just say, if you're a stand-up comedian, it's great. But let's just say, if you interact with people on, the, on, the, on an average basis with this style of humor, you have to be very careful. Some people are not in the right mood, or they're not the right type of chemistry with you, or there's infinite reasons. You know, maybe it's the wrong day, maybe they don't like you, maybe they like you, I don't know. But if you choose to participate in dark humor with another person, be conscious of first steps, right? First step number one, always ask for permission, right? You know, hey, are you cool with me speaking at this level, right? Because this is, this is the kind of level of humor only humans talk to one another, right? When you're working in a professional environment, you cannot use this type of uh, human bonding, right? So step number two, after asking them permission, you proceed to slowly increase the dark, right? But see, you have to understand, I love the dark, right? To me, the dark has a beautiful element to it. I love the light, you know? Why do, I have to, why do you only have to love the dark and not the light? Why well, you only have to light the light but not the dark, you know? I always feel like, why not love both, the night and the day? But that's why I like dark humor. You know, it's the funniest. Uh, but uh, especially for adults. All right. So after asking for permission, it's slowly incrementing. You see where the person is at. If they're a full, 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 full blown comedian archetype, they will proceed to see what level of intellect you possess. Right. And like, oh, my God, this person knows as much about the world. Yes, he does. He figured it out. <laughs> so then you proceed to laugh about stupid things you see. I'll give you an example. People playing park at the co people playing sports during COVID, right? One on one, a full blown basketball game. I proceed to make fun of that, and we all laugh and you know, make fun of the, the things that are funny in society, right? So after doing all of that stuff, asking for permission and slowly incrementing, if you're, if you're blessed, a comedian talking to another comedian, humor will arise like nothing you've ever heard before. You know, uh, li listen to Patricia Neo with his uh. But it's white friends, you know, that was how humor brought different ethnicities together, you know. Maybe they weren't perfect, you know, maybe you could bring out a time or something they said wrong or who knows. But that's humor, it's something that we cannot lose, something that makes you laugh, you know, that, that, uh, and then you have to see, you can't force your humor on other people, right? And that's the difficulty of being a comedian sometimes, because sometimes your jokes could be so dark that it scares people right and then your intentions were not to scare them actually your intentions were to make a hilarious joke and if they're stupid if they don't understand that it's a joke then you shouldn't joke with them right because obviously they're not it's not an inferior superior kind of uh, relationship dynamic far from that you know i'll give you an example i would never use dark humor with children never even though they're the kings of dark humor, but they're very innocent dark humor, you know. I'll give you another example, you know. I was at school, and one of the little kids, she was like, teacher, teacher, teacher Mario. That's what they call a cool, uh, middle school, uh, uh, pre preschool kid, you know. She asked me this question. We're outside. Everybody was recessed. Everybody goes around. And then she said, teacher Mario, my mom and dad were making weird noises last night. And my head is like, oh, shit. <laughs> Because <laughs> I kind of had a feeling I've heard this conversation before Played out So I kind of know what's going to come next And then she said Yeah, they're making weird noises And like, really? Are you okay? Because I'm a mandated reporter First, I'm obligated to see If she's okay, right? So I do my investigation So I'm like, hey, are you okay? And she said, yeah, I'm okay I'm like, okay So and then I just I don't I don't want to delve too much into it So I said, what did you hear? She said, well I heard my parents screaming like animals You know? And then I laugh inside. I'm laughing really bad, you know, because her delivery was perfect, you know. <laughs> and then she says, I'm really worried for my mom. She sounds like she was being killed. And I laugh even harder, you know, but I, I, I've, I've learned how to have a poker face in front of children, right? Because they're so sensitive. They can feel like, why are you laughing at me? Like, and they think it's personal because they're egocentric, right? Everything revolves around them. And then um, after that happens, you laugh, but you, know, you laugh inside, right? And you remember as a funny story you could share with the world how um, funny dark humor, children dark humor is. And um, yeah, I man, so there's some things that children shouldn't know, but unfortunately they did, you know? But um, yeah, I mean, by the time you're in kindergarten, you know all the bad words, you know? I see them kids use it all the time. And it's funny how one kid was like, 
F this, F that, you know. And I'm like, man, somebody must say it in front of you all the time. And then for the good parents who don't say it in front of their kids, well, your kid just heard it from another little kid, so they heard it that way. That's how you learn everything in school. Okay, so I almost lost the instructions for dark humor. So, so if you're a comedian dark humor with another comedian dark humor, wow. It's like watching a, a copy of a donut. It's like watching a... Uh, what can I say? Let's go racist jokes? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, cops. Even the donuts are lovely. <laughs> or, you know, uh, what they say, uh, Dave Chappelle and his humor. And you're like, oh, shit, went to South Africa. See? Those, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of race jokes, you know, or jokes against cops, you know? So uh, it's not my thing. You know, if you choose to participate in it, hey, <laughs> let's not put this online because your career could be destroyed within seconds, right? But, um, yeah, I mean, because that's, that's the kind of humor that you have amongst friends, you know. And it's something that you're not meant to share with people. It's very private. Just certain things like you have to give consent, you know. And um, that's the other thing that, you know, it's something you might grow up to regret that if you didn't ask for consent. You know, you're like, shit. <laughs> that's what I always say in the beginning of your dark humor. Always ask for consent and see, gradually go up because you can't go full, full, full speed right away. If they're not a natural comedian. They'll be like, oh my God, you're a horrible person. <laughs> so, all right, whatever. But uh, that's my take on dark humor. And, and if you have a different view on it, let me know, you know. And uh, I know dark humor has infinite levels either way. It goes to completely light where you're blinded, you can't see nothing. And you go to pitch dark where it's like, what am I doing in the darkness? I can't see, I'm blind, you know. So either way, you're going to be blind. So maybe mix come in the middle, right? No pun intended. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.